Hi guys, this is Megha Verma. Welcome to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we will learn how to design this roll-up banner in Corel Draw. So without any delay, let's get started. So this is the size of our roll-up banner, three by six feet. Now first we will select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and we will draw a rectangle. Now we will set the size of the rectangle 3 by 6. Now we will select the align and the distribute and we will set the align. First we will click on specified point then we will align horizontally and vertically. Now we will drag the rectangle from the bottom to top and we will right click to make a copy. Now we will right click then we will select convert to curves. Now we will select the shape tool from the toolbar and we will select the node and then right click and delete or you can double click to delete the node. Now we will select this triangle. I will make copy by drag and right click. Now I will click on the option mirror horizontally to flip and then mirror vertically. Now I will select both the triangles and we will set the align. First we will click on selected objects then we will align horizontally and from the top. Now we'll drag this rectangle from top to bottom and then right click to make a copy. Now we'll right click on this rectangle and we will select option convert to curves. Now we'll select the shape tool from the toolbar and we will select two nodes and then we will click on convert to curve. Now we'll click on the center of the line. Now we'll right click then we will click add. Now we'll drag this node like this. Now we'll select the pick tool and we will select this rectangle then we will fill color. You can see the color code which I am using. Now I'll select this triangle and we will click on shape tool. Then we will add the node and we will click on convert to curve. Now we'll drag the handles and we will give a round shape. Now we will select this shape and we will fill white color in this shape. Now we will select first triangle and we will select interactive fill tool from the toolbar and we will apply on this triangle. Now we will select the colors. We will select the color with the color eyedropper tool. Now again we will select this triangle and we will select the shape tool from the toolbar and we will click on the center of this line and then click on convert to curve. Now we will drag the handle. Now we'll select this shape and similarly we will click on the center of the line then we will select convert to curve. 
Now again we will drag the handles. Now I'll select this shape and we will fill pink color in this shape. Now we will drag. Now we'll right click to make a copy. Now we'll fill different color in this shape. Now we will import some images. We have this four images which we will use in this banner. Now we will increase the size of the image. First we will select this image and we will increase the size of this image. Now we will place this image on the banner. I'll make a copy of this image by drag and right click. I'll select this image, right click, then we will click on power clip inside. Now I'll click on this shape with the arrow. Now we will select this image and we will select the crop tool from the toolbar. Now we will crop this image. Now I'll click on crop. Now we will place this image on the first image. Now we will properly match the sides of the image. Now we will zoom the image and we will match the sides of the images with the arrow key. Now you can see images are perfectly matched. Now we'll select all and we will right click and we will remove the outline of all the shapes. Now we'll select the ellipse tool from the toolbar and we will draw a circle. Now we'll set the size of the circle one by one. I will select the image, I will place the image on the circle and we will decrease the size, we will set the size according to the circle. Now I will right click on the image and then click on power clip inside, now I will click on the circle. I will select the pick tool and we will select the circle image. Now I'll give a pink outline to this circle image. Now I'll increase the size of the outline. Now I'll make a copy of this circle image by drag and right click. Now I'll select this image. Now I'll change the circle image. For that we will click on add it. Now I'll select this image and we will delete this image. Now I'll click on finish. 
now place this image on the circle first we will decrease the size then we will place on the circle now you can see image has changed now we can add it this image I'll click on finish now again we will make one more copy of this circle image again we will click on add it and we will delete this image I'll click on finish then we will place this image on the circle now I'll click on add it now we will increase or decrease the size of the image I'll set the image according to circle I'll click on finish I'll select this circle image and we will place on the banner now I'll increase the size of this circle image. Now I'll place this image on the center. Now I'll select this image. Now I'll place here on the left and the second we will on the right. Now I'll select all three and then we will set the align. Now we will drag the image with the arrow keys. We are decreasing the gap. I will select all three and we will decrease the size. I will select two images and we will move to upwards. Now we will import the logo, we have this logo image, now we will place our logo on the top left corner, I will zoom and we will set the logo. Now I'll select the text tool from the toolbar and we will write the text. First we will set the size. Now we will write the text. Now I'll place this text on the banner. Now I'll change the color. Now I'll give a bold look to the text. We can increase or decrease the size according to the space. Now again we will write the text. We are making this banner for beauty and spa center. Now we will set the text. We will adjust the text according to the space. Now we'll select the shape and we will adjust the shape.
now again we will select the text tool and we will copy the text now we will write the headline so i'm just pasting the text i'll give a bold look to the text and we will click on underline now we'll change the color of the text now again i will copy the text now we will write paragraph text first we will select the text tool and we will make a selection with the text tool to write a paragraph now i'll paste the text and we will select all the text now i'll set the size of the text now i'll click on the option horizontal alignment now i'll click on full justify now i'll give a white color to the text now i'll decrease the size of the heading text now we will import the barcode we will place the barcode on the banner we will place the barcode on the left bottom corner now we'll select the text tool now we will write contact number email address and the website address now we'll give a bold look to the text and we will change the color set the size of the text we will give a same size to all the text now we'll select all three text and we will set the line from the left now we'll select the logo and we will make a copy by drag and right click we will place the logo on the right bottom corner now we'll select all this and we will drag with the arrow key to adjust the space space is less so i think i should decrease the size of this text now i am decreasing the size of this text now we will increase the size of the logo so guys our roll up banner design is ready i hope you like the design if you have any question regarding this tutorial you can ask me on the comment box 
प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट्स एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड हिट द बेलाइकन टू गेट अपडेट्स ऑफ माई वीडियोज थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग